Hey guys, I'm Martin Upshaw and today I'm going to show you how the tablet experience, you know, so brought on by stuff like the iPad, has actually been available for a long time and how it just hasn't been adapted. So here I have a, one of my laptops, uh, HP TX1000. It's been, I've had it for more than three years and it is a tablet. It's got a pressure sensitive touch screen, which means like, you know, you got any sort of regular stylus will do in terms of touching, but it also means that you can use your fingernail and kind of tap things out, open up applications, open up windows, stuff like that. Now the next, the following models after this one have actually had a capacitive touchscreen, which means you can use your fingers, which is very cool. Now there's an enormous opportunity here for HP to really bring on a cool tableting, tablet environment and make for a good experience. So for example, like, well, let's get this in tablet mode. I'm going to stand for that. All right. Over here, um, could have used, now one problem was the browsing experience has to be good. So the browser I use is actually Mozilla's Fennec browser, which is, this is an alpha build that the browser made for mobile phones. Now, you can get the beta build now, but it's not going to work on full screen like this This build. So let's make it full screen. Um, so go to our website. Let's go to the New York Times. Wait for it to load. So, okay, our article is loaded now. And suppose you want to look at this content. Now, if you're on another browser, you kind of have to do a zoom thing, which is complicated. If you're on an iPad, you can just double tap and get to that. And, in fact, you can do that on this browser. And there you go, zooms into that area, which is very nice. Very good for reading, very cool experience. Now, this browser is actually, it's a mobile browser. This is an alpha build for a mobile browser, not meant for computers, yet it's the best browsing experience you can get on these sort of tablets. So there's enormous opportunity here for HP to, you know, kind of put their own browser layer, make it touch sensitive, make it, you know, meet the needs. Now, they do have other tablets coming out. There's been a video that's been leaked. Um, there should be a link to it on this blog somewhere. And it's basically this, except the experience is terrible. You see the guy tapping around a lot. He's not really quite hitting the spots, but not bad. Uh, obviously, a good operating system is needed to run on this. This is kind of a whole hack of using this mobile browser, using Windows tablet to kind of get these keyboards in. But it shows that this experience has been around for a long time and that companies really could have done something about it. I'm hoping they do improve on this, they realize what needs to be done, and hopefully we'll see some good ideas. But for those of you with these machines, you can download Mozilla's alpha build of their Fennec browser, which I believe is M version M9, and at least get something out of it. It's kind of nice to read like this. It's not bad at all, and I personally enjoy it.